I recorded multiple videos today. You'll see why after this video is up. Um, I think, I don't think I'll upload it in the same day. I think I'll upload it the day after. But we're off to fight to the, fight, well, we're off to fight the king. It's the king that Lancer didn't want us to meet. Lancer? <laughs> hey, there's Lancer. Father, Lancer, my son, have you dispatched the Lightners as I commanded? No, but I did even better. It turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you and they're alive. <laughs> yes, and I think you'll like them a lot. There's Susie, she's very purple and strong, and where are they now? Um. <laughs> notice how Chris is the one standing the furthest away. Hey, it's nice to meet you. Lancer, Lancer, my son. Yes, father? Do you remember what I told you? Don't get too attached. Damn. You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. Free yourself, Lancer. They care not for you. They care. Their only goal is to destroy a glorious fountain. They are scum. No, they aren't. What did you say? Let him go. You want me to let him go? Then how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Unless you all kneel and learn your place. What will it be, Lightners? Don't listen to him, Susie. He'll... Now watch, Lancer. See what happens when you befriend Lightners. What the... You traitor, come back here. Alright, enough already. Who the hell do you think you are? To my people, I'm a hero. To you. I'm the bad guy. That is disgusting. <laughs> King blocked the way. Talk, talk, talk. Okay. Let's hear Chris talk first. I guess defend. You try to reason with the king. Silence, Lightbringer. Your very existence goes against our own. Damn. <laughs> By the knight's will, I shall shatter your heart to pieces. Your will is changing. Talk became courage. How dare you come here, Lightners? Alright. Since you try to reason with the king. Alright, listen up. Lancer's my friend. So if you can get by without hurting you then, if I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. Alright, you want to see what I can do? This is well, it's changing. Talk became Red Buster. You, that left us in the shadow, stripped of meaning. Oof, okay. Courage, defense boost. Razzy tried to reason with the game. You might not realize it, but this is a world where you don't have to fight. I know if you try it, you'll all find another way. Such simple-minded platitudes. A shame you would not be li you would not live to realize your naivety. Now perish with the pathetic lighteners you worship. <laughs> Sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. Razzy's will is changing. Talk became dual heal. You dare to return to Tormatus. Tor la la la. I can't read. Oh. This reminds me of a certain movie in Undertale. Can't remember what though. It might be Undyne. You can crunch the party. The party's defense raised for this turn. Oh my god. The night that pulls the fountains from the earth. I like his animations, I like his cape. 
holy fountains whose shadows are creating a new world. Our world. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I should have healed instead. Do you see, do you now see your new purpose? I think that's what he said. I should heal, right? I mean, well, Chris is the only one that does that move, so. Soon this world will be blanketed in darkness, I think he said, and darkness shall rule it. Then you may see what it is to like see what it is like to live in despair. Why can't I read today? Shit. Oh my god, I keep hitting the thing. Quite strong, aren't you? It seems that speaking full sentences, man. Could have gone through this way faster if you spoke in full sentences. I kind of like his battle theme. My knight, I shall not fail you. Enough is enough. I see. I see that I cannot defeat you. I have grown exhausted from a long battle. That's some loser behavior. <laughs> Lightners, I... Perhaps I have been too cruel. The truth is, I was not always this way. There was once a time where darkness and lightners lived in harmony. A time where darkness could fulfill their purpose in peace. It would be a lie to say that I too do not yearn for those days. Perhaps... Perhaps you young ones are right. Please, let us put away our weapons. There must be a peaceful solution to all this. It was his fault. And he's just like, bruh, come at me. I'm now Susie. I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King. None of us really want to fight. Can you just tell us about your worries? I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Yes, friends. That sounds lovely. My apologies, I am. I'm not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. Don't say another word. That's such a stupid move. I'm sorry. It's just... I don't know. There, you should be all healed up. How do you feel? Let's see. Never better. Bro, Rousey's gone. You... Did I say you could get up? Chris! Chris! Oh. Spare me the heroics. Chris, no. You're the leader, aren't you? So what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity? You can't even say. Young one, let me tell you a secret. Why do people piss me off? Hey, get away from my friend. Or what? You'll kill me? Nah. So what's your plan then? To talk me to death? 
You stupid, stupid lightener. You honestly think you have any way to convince me not to kill you. But they might. Lancer, everyone. What is the meaning of this? Sorry, Dad. You're being overthrown. When I told everyone you were fighting the Lightners, everyone remembered how kind they were. They decided they'd rather have a king that accepts them. Me? Now I'm the dad. You idiots, the Lightners are your enemies. Fools, I'll kill you, I'll kill all of you. Yikes. I think someone needs a timeout. Go to your room, Dad. Damn. Are you alright, Chris? Chris, Susie. Oh, you're alright. Yeah, but it'll take- it'll take more- I can't read! I can't read! It'll take more than that to take us down. Chris, Susie, I'm sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost- Susie, you were right. I, I was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? It's complicated. Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then you might just hurt someone you care about. Susie, you're beginning to sound like a real hero. Don't get used to it. Then I... I suppose you and Chris should return home now. Yeah, I, I guess that's right, huh? Well, um, see ya. Hey, Chris. Wait a second. Um, look, I know you want to give a real goodbye to everyone, right? I mean, I'm all for leaving right away, but, you know, we could go back for a second if you wanted. Well then, what are we waiting for? Let's head back. Chris? Susie? You came back. Um, well, Chris just wanted to say bye, you know. Oh, actually, everyone here wanted to say goodbye, too. Please let me know when you leave, alright? Yeah, yeah, we'll try not to skip you. Way to go, kids. Now we can go back to making the puzzles we love. And thanks for your donation, I can buy a new hand, some shaving cream. <laughs> best, you're the best. Honestly, we owe you. You're absolutely amazing. Be great, be work. Thank you, I can go back to being a co-hanger now. By the by, I asked Sham to come here, but there wasn't any interest. <laughs> what? <laughs> Even a little ball can say something like thank you. Darn horsey, you've done us a big help. Now all in a but I now all in of us pieces can live in pieces. You did it, you ousted that rotten tyrant. I happily accept the bounty of credit for your mic contributions. Unless the king reappears, in which case I did nothing. Wonderful work, mine Agumus. Amukus? Amigos! <laughs> thou, thou has chopped the tyrant, Freedus or Creedus. Truly is the history shall not forget the tale of rules card and the three heroes. I knew you could do it. Though I was your enemy, I was cheering for you. That's how much I dislike my job. <laughs> The future looks sweet, like a pile of bees puke, which is honey, I think. The kingdom with so much hope, hope you didn't screw it up. That means thank you. Come to our bee day, our next bee day too. We'll have one soon if that's possible. Hattie looked at you proudly. Kiss. Ew. What's going on? I slipped through everything. What ho, what about us? Are we going to be restored as kings? My treasure is unharmed carry on then. Us animals decided if it's it's okay to if the stings if the king what is going on if the king stay in the cages as well as well but they'll have to put on animal ears and noses. Mama Miba, what a celebration! This calls for a cake, and this time I'll make it out of metal so animals can't eat it. I'll be honest. At first, we weren't sure who who make our new king. I mean, Lancer has always been a bit of a pain, but after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I think he'll be fine. Because you rescued it, it grew to respect you. Well, actually, maybe it shrunk to respect you. 
Susie, blue person whose name I neglected to learn all along. I thought you were going home, homeways. You were, but Chris wanted to say bye, you know. Oh, really? That's funny. I thought you wanted to say bye because we're friends. I mean, I did not not want to. So you're the king now, huh? Yes, and I'm changing some big rules. First, lighteners are not legal. legal. Second, prison is now only for dads. Sounds like some pretty good changes. Your dad was protecting the fountain, right? Is it gonna be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea. But it's you guys, so I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, guess we'll see. We'll just see what happens, I guess. We'll see you later. Come back soon. There's always room in town for a couple of pounds. Susie, Chris, are you going to leave? Oh my. I just wanted to say I. I really enjoyed meeting you two, and. Can you stop mumbling into your hat for a second? I can barely hear you. I'm sorry. Chris, Susie. I hope I can see you again soon. Next time we'll make you a lots of yummy cake, alright? Um, yeah, sure, dude. Let's go, Chris. I'm just thinking about it. Is this the fountain? I don't know how, but it feels like we stumbled into s into something really important, didn't we? Well, there's no time to think about that now. Right now, it's time to go home. Right, Chris? As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. I can't see anything. Hey, watch it. The unused classroom. How do we get here? Hey, Chris. What just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Anyways, as I was saying, let's just tell us we couldn't find any chalk. Playing cards spill out of the deck, spill out of a deck in the closet. It's a worn down stuffed animal. Door is locked. It's a checkboard. There are pawns strewn on it. It's a light switch. It's a yellow, it's a yellowed, poorly drawn picture of a green turtle. It's signed Alvin. Weird. Man, the sun's already set up. Everyone else must have gone home by now. Guess office will better know than us to ask us next time, right? I can't read. Well, I guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Chris? Let's go back there tomorrow, right? The door is locked. Okay. Here's the thing, right? I could explore the whole town. I could just go outside and explore the whole town. That scared me. Chris, whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after school for an hour. For half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. A friend? You were spending time with a friend? Chris, I'll make an exception this time. You can continue your adventures a little longer. But when you return home, you're going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. I think I'm only gonna go to the places that kind of interest me. Uh... Chris, what's up? Caddy's working, so I'm starting on our, on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. 
It's the same picture of a soccer ball 73 times. Temmy? Gotta go to call it. So Tem stubby. Hard. She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. There's a crude drawing of an ice cube wearing a headband. The teen zone where teens can be kids. A feeling of immense relief washes over you. Can I like... Okay. Chris, you survived Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to draw dragons is 2,583 days overdue. However, Chris, I am a benevolent volunteer assistant. We return it in this week. I'll reduce your fine to a mere $64. Consider it, Chris. I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. I love reading books, especially the books. That's weird. You look through the window to the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Toby. Please remember my name, please. I wrote a book to help you remember. But hot fire again. Did I say fire game? Fire guy. Sorry. Kinda tired. Police chief on Dan is supposed to be directing traffic. But all she's doing is standing in the middle of the street yelling, get out of my way. <laughs> she's the best, huh? I feel really directed. Hey punk, get out of the road. You're blocking traffic. Oh wait, it's just as works, kid. Sorry, I'm a little worked up lately. This job is so boring, nothing ever happens in the sound. I just wish something would shake things up. You got something to report? Dark world, help you, office. There's a dark world inside the school? Sure, kid. There's no law against dark worlds anyways. That's a job for the school board. I'm pretty sure with Alphys that she just likes that she doesn't know her. Alphys? Who's Alphys? No idea what you're talking about. Why, did they do something illegal? Gotcha, if I see Alphys, I'll tackle them. They're as good as dead. How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. I guess I should just run away. Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. So obligatory hospital piano shrug to fit in the corner. As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it? Blink. <laughs> Dad, I just can't say that to her. <laughs> oh my god, I died. Literally died. Noel, sweetheart, first time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up to her and told her she was a hot piece of work. I would've slapped the shit out of him. Really? So yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. I wonder if Toby Fox voiced that clip. Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyway, anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers 3 beat it yet? Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of, kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Noel. Maybe you shouldn't wait. Dad? You should bring it here, I'm bored as hell. Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. It's getting late. I guess I better go, I've got homework. That's the group project voice. Bird guy again? What's his name? Nerdly? It's um, Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window, I'll throw something at him. Goodbye, Dad. Did my game freeze? Oh no, it didn't. Okay. Bye, honey. Oh, hi, Chris. Well, jingle my gosh darn bells. Looks like Christmas came early. All right, Chris. Just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Did your mom make you come here? No. Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. Wasn't too long ago, you were just the creepy kid next door. <laughs> You're the creepy kid right in front of me. You're the creepy kid right in front of me. That's what I meant to say. Okay, okay, seriously, you want to chat or something? Illness, Noel, family, nothing. Illness. So why am I in here? Well, they found some crap, so it's just some tests. Yeah, it's no big deal. Nothing a holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff. And I can go back to, I don't know, yelling at you for getting tangled in the, our lights <laughs> display. No. 
She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet, couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. Sounds like me. And when it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. Or she used to even be afraid of humans under the bed. Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. Anyhow, that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me. Just that in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? Family. Chris, even if we've grown apart, we still love your family. After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? Oh hey, now that Azriel's off to college, you think he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? I'm just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand, she'd always fuss about going, but once the party started, yikes. When she hit me clear across the room with a key lime pie. We got smashed into the snack table and toppled over everything. Tasty pie, though, I couldn't complain. I said everything, right? Yeah, I did. And what the hell are you here for, Chris? You thought this was a zoo or something? Come on. It's a sink. Hey, Chris, is that sink really more interesting than me? It's an angel doll. This lack of facial features is unsettling. That angel, Noel and Des made it. What? Did I have an accent? Noel and Des made it in a youth group. It's kind of like a good luck charm to me now. Oh right, you and Azzy tried to make one too. We wished the whole time making huge wings for it. It's a bunch of roses, roses in a glass container. Hey, I'm happy your dad brought me flowers, but roses? What is this? Beauty and the Beast? The hang get it work, man. We're both beasts. This castle's white wizards relegated me to the healing chamber. But my blood is boiling for battle. <laughs> How are you, kid? Great to see you again. Who the hell are you? You know, good question. I'm Sans, your friendly neighbor skele neighborhood skeleton. What's up? Friends store. Oh, you've got something better to do? Me too. Anyway, I'll be standing here doing nothing. What's up? We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why well, I got anyone I should know better? <laughs> my mom. <laughs> Me. My teacher. Whoa there, tiger. You can't just jump straight into friendship. It takes time. Alright, that's enough time. Take this. Call it whenever you feel like. You got Sans's number. What's up? Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. She's great. Come to the store to buy chocolate kisses. Oh, came to the store to buy chocolate kisses. Says she's gotta lock her door to stop you from eating them. Sound like a fun kid. Alphys, huh? Oh, Alphys, yeah, I know about her. Came into the store with a suitcase and glasses. Thought she was part of the mob. She opened the case and stuffed it full of instant noodles, paid in small bills. Then slunk out of the place. Pajamas trilly on the floor. Anyways, our relationship is a purely business, so I guess I'll just let her do her thing. Behind me? Yeah, that's a grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. Someone ought to complain to the guy who runs it. Hey bud, are you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. It'd be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. Okay. Wow, you were deliberating for a while. Gee, what's wrong? Don't want to hang out with a stranger? Well, I guess I should have complained. What are we going to be doing? Oh, I'm not going to be there. That'd be weird. It's just going to be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. Doc. No response. But this isn't tr the distant trouser of bones. Are you the human that lives at the top of the town? Wow, my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? <laughs> that is kind of weird. That sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. Yo, Chris, you survived Susie. I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but I'd be careful. Like, one time, me and Snowy and Jockington were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. 
That's so sad. And then when the ball rolled over to her, she just froze solid and kicked the ball as hard as she could, right into Officer Undyne's car. Then Undyne came out smiling, cracked her knuckles, and totally wiped us at handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. You're so mean. You're lucky, Chris. You got to miss class with Alpha. This is not fair. If I skip class, my dad would never let me hear the end of it. That's actually not even remotely funny. It's kind of not. Oh, Chris. Chris, you're okay. I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where did you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know. You're not in trouble. Kind of weird. I hate teachers like that. I hate cool teachers. Do you know what I mean? Like, like, I'm only gonna talk about this for a little bit, but like cool teachers that are just like, yeah, you can do whatever you want or whatever. They talk to kids and they kind of like talk about certain things that they shouldn't be talking about, but they do it because they're quote unquote cool. It just, and then they're never, I feel like they're never really nice to kids who actually just are not bad popular kids. Like they talk, I don't know. I don't know. Well, let me know if you need anything. I don't think I need anything from you. Do you need something? You're in the dumpster. These flowers, they're from your dad. He always asks me how you're doing in school. Then he gives me a bouquet of them. Actually, that he always gives me flowers. Really makes me wonder if he likes me. If he likes the awesome comics I lent to him. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge and could kick my ass. Saucer of milk? It's for my kitty, Mew Mew. She's a perfect angel. What does she look like? Well, I've never actually seen her, but ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. Weird. So I like to think that there's a cat. My cat. Weird. Chalk. Chris, even though you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So in return, I can let you borrow my homemade DVD collection of The Symptoms. You know, the sitcom about the middle-class monster family? It's got every episode in all 28 seasons. It's the funniest, most quotable show ever. I've skipped the damn dialogue. She keeps- Jesus. I got kind of scared for a second. I got scared so easily. It's kind of annoying. Ice me up. Ice me up, boss. Nope, I will not ice you up. Okay. That's a lot of people to talk to in here. I'll talk to the important ones. You're alive. Nice. I'm working. We'll take the special one. Do you have any edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. Hey there, I haven't seen you in a while, hon. I have remember back on Sundays after service, you and your family would come and order the special. Of course, things happen and then y'all stop coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brother still come in. We'd order you a hot chocolate. And you two sit down at the table in the corner, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. You must be really missed him, huh? Here, how about this? You got the hot chocolate. I'm the house. This isn't open. That's just is locked. No one's inside. Seems like all the employees are outside in costume. Would you be interested in trying some of our many 24 petzo flavors? We've got normal, cheese, ice, gravy, double ice, pepperonis, and more. Stop on down at Icy's Pizza. Pizza. Oh god, someone's actually here. Um, Icy's Pizza, your number one spot for a piping hot pizza pizza. Hey, wait a second. I recognize you. Little buddy, it's me. Want to chat for a minute before I lose my mind? Asriel. Do you know when Azri's coming home? You can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. It'd be sweet to cruise around town like old times. Picking up, for example, chicks. Which, as a matter of course, may not have actually ever happened. But one time a dime made eye contact with me while she was writing me a speeding ticket. Job. Make no mistake, little buddy. Icy's pizza is hell. I can't slack off for seconds without hearing. Be a team player. There's no I in pizza. Yes, there is. You just took it out. But it's okay, little buddy. I've been saving up to go to college where Azzy is. 
Now I'll get a theater degree and become a famous actor. And let the fangirls roll in, little buddy. Co-workers. Ah yes, little buddy, good idea. Meet the rogues gallery. Blue Year's soft serve obsessed and no concept of personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushies on me and giggling. A warrior, thankfully absent due to pizza-related injuries. <laughs> Constantly terrorizing the customer with poor chance. Purple guy, man, that guy. You gotta actually does that guy even work here? My co-workers, where would I be without them? A happy place, little buddy. A much happier place. The church. Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here. And on a school day, there must be a reason that you came here at such a time. Hi, Father Alvin, implore you. If you have any weighing if you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. Fruit juice. Chris, if you want some more sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. Our choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it would be wonderful if you would sing with us. Or even participate to any extent instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. Shira. Karaoke microphone for a brave singer. Shira? Who's that? Was there actually someone like that in the lab? Muller, a big bone for the leader of the pack. Oh, wait, that makes sense. Crystal, a snowy gem, so for a proud mother. Gerson, renowned, renowned, renowned historian, author, and teacher. And then this is where. Yeah, I'll go there later. <laughs> kind of scares me for some reason. Little Chrissy, what's up? Give Aunt Caddy a hug. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Actually, like anything though, your choice. Azriel. <laughs> that sounds so. Like, I can see it. I can see that happening. Someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy, how can I? Oh, Chris. I'm sorry. I forgot if you don't like hugs like that. Well now, make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. I was thinking, perhaps when Azriel comes home, we could all go to the diner just like old times. My treat. Doesn't that sound yummy? It's a cash register, there's not much change inside. Some kind of catalog. There's a car magazine underneath. It's a flower. Yes, these flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. It's a golden flower protected in the container. It's a rusty fridge with some photos on it. Oh, Chris, if you're hungry, help yourself to anything you want. Open fridge. All that's inside is a jar with a single pickle in it. You decide to pass. A photo of your mother and father on their wedding day. She's holding a bouquet of seven flowers. A reindeer looking monster stands nearby in a tuxedo. They all look happy. It's a small TV on top or some superhero comics. There's some dirty fur stuck on the train. Oh, Chris, before you go. Here, for your mother, our secret. You got the bouquet of flowers. Have a great day, Chris. True. What? <laughs> Nothing better than hanging out at the lake with my best bro. Okay, watching the waves go by. I was about to say, why'd they just say true? I don't know where. Onion is here, right? Do I just stand here for a couple of seconds? Oh, yes, I do. Okay. Hey there. Notice you were here. It's me. You know me, right? Of course you do. I'm real popular. I just don't have any friends. But it's okay you're here. I'm because you're here. Will you be my friend? Yeah, sure. I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy I... I don't know what to do. I don't remember being this happy before. What's your name, friend? Chris, hippopotamus. Hip- uh, hyper- hopper. Um, hippopotamus. 
That's you, big name, but it's worth it. Excuse me, I forgot to introduce myself. Actually, since no one talks to me, I forgot my own name. Hippopotamus, can you give me a name? Azrael too disgusting. Onion, beauty. It's perfect, you hear? I don't know what it means, but it's perfect. Feels like it's shaped like me. Feels like it smells like me. Wait, what was that name? Um, Umyum? It's perfect. Umyum, that's my name. Thank you for giving me my name. I'll cherish it, you hear? Um, Hippa, um, Hyper pot Potato Mask. What, that's your name, right? I want to tell you something. Tomorrow. Something I can only tell a friend. Come back soon, you hear? <laughs> okay. My hands are sweating. I gotta head home. Knock, knock, knock. Um, friend no one's home right now, darling. Now why don't you pants on home? Oh, hi, Chris. Did you need help with your homework again? I know you're, you were having trouble last time, so I actually got a few things ready for you in case. Oh, wait, sorry, I can't right now. Forgot my house key and... Sorry, Chris. I'll help you out later if that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Um, Chris, did you want to talk about something? Susie, anything key. That's right, you were with Susie. When you didn't come back to class, I was worried, but everything turned out okay, I think. Um, Chris, can I ask something if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. So, Chris, could you tell me about her, if that's okay? She's a nice person? Really? Like, really? Like, honestly, truly. I mean, that's just what I was hoping, but... Wait, this isn't another trick, is it, Chris? Like, when you put ketchup on your arms, you told me it was blood? Really? You're serious? You're totally serious. Maybe I should try talking to her. But if I die, you're paying for my funeral, Chris. But honestly, if she's nice, I might die, too. Why don't I ask my mom for the key? I mean, um, I, you know, she doesn't like when I bother when she's working. Don't worry, okay? I'll just go over to Caddy's. Um, Chris, are you feeling alright? Normally, you're not so talkative. I don't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Um, Chris, is something wrong? Why did you go to the hospital to see my dad? I mean, I'm sure you appreciate it, but, um... Gosh, I'm sorry, Chris. Forget I said anything. Welcome home, honey. Did you finish- have fun- <laughs> By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to the bed, it will be cold when you wake. But do not eat all this time, alright? Chris, what is that, honey? Flowers. Oh, Chris, flowers for your mother? How sweet. These are from him, are they not? Well, worry not, Chris. I will find some place for them. Remember that video game you and Azriel used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters? When he was very little, he loved the green little the lizard from that. We even had a birthday party for him themed around it. Your father painted all these eggs with spots on dark as decoration. Your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just, just kept crying. Ever since then, you hated that book about eating green eggs. Me. Chris, honey, you've grown up so much. Someday soon you will be going off to university as well. Remember when you were little? You asked when your horns were starting, were going to grow in. So we bought that headband with the little red horns on it. This is what I mentioned earlier, I think. Or in some video. I don't know, I can't- I don't think I'm- actually? Did I mention this earlier? I think I must have mentioned it in a different video, I'm sorry. But... They were for Chris. You wore it for months. Whatever happened to it. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. It's so cool. You looked inside the sink cupboard. There's a can of Icy's Cool Boys body spray. Spray for the boys. Flaming hot pizza flavor. It seems to be almost entirely full. It's a toilet. Flush it. You flush the toilet. Okay. Since this recording is getting too long, I will have to end it here by me going to sleep. <sighs> if you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. Will you go to bed? Yes. You decided to go to bed.
I love this color palette, but I do not like what happens in this scene. That must have been a hard hit. Damn. So that was the end of a chapter. I can't believe I actually got through with this chapter for a let's play. There's a light inside your soul that's shining in the cold. My cat got up. She woke up. Okay. Um I'm most likely gonna start the chapter the second chapter soon when I get to it. But it most likely won't. That scared me. Um, what do I want to talk about? Is there anything that I want to talk about right now? Um, to be continued. But yeah, it won't be too long until I play the second chapter. Continue to chapter two? Yes. I will end it here because I will have to film another video. Not today. Tomorrow, most likely. Maybe tomorrow. I don't know. No, not tomorrow. Tomorrow? My cat is awake. Um, I have to end this video before she starts meowing in the recording. But, um, I think this was a good video. I have to edit it down a lot, though. Bye. I'll see you in the next video. If you liked it, like, comment, subscribe, maybe. It would be cool if you shared this video. Bye.